in down syndrome for example is a chromosomal abnormality all of us have a particular number of chromosomes in our cells because we are human beings we have 46 chromosomes in each of our cells the sperm or the egg is a special type of cell which has only half the number of chromosomes as compared to normal cells so when a woman forms an egg she divides her chromosomes into half and gives each egg 23 and 23 chromosomes sometimes that division does not occur completely it's a process called non disjunction so uh, during the reduction division that non disjunction leads to unequal gametes for example one has 22 chromosomes and one has 24 chromosomes so the one which has 22 chromosomes may not actually get fertile or may not actually lead to a viable baby but the one which has 24 chromosomes may sometimes continue and that will be a you know trisomy some particular chromosome will be there in three numbers this is commonly seen in trisomy 21 because 21 chromosome somehow manages that the baby can still grow survive and sometimes have a even meaningful life but the variate the presentation can be very variable some people with down syndrome can have a near normal life and some people with down syndrome may have severe disabilities and intellectual problems as well as you know structural problems so detection of down syndrome or prenatal diagnosis of down syndrome screening for down syndrome has nowadays become a routine uh, activity it has become a part of recommended routine antenatal care so we suggest every woman irrespective of her age irrespective of her history to undergo screening for down syndrome it's a simple test and it is it is also you know combined with many useful tests for example in the first trimester we do a scan it's called the nt scan the nuchal translucency scan nuchal means neck translucency means a you know thin area behind the neck so this scan will give us an idea of how likely is this baby to have down syndrome now just because the nuchal translucency is abnormal it does not mean there is down syndrome or if it is normal it does not mean there is no down syndrome but if the nuchal translucency is abnormal the chances of having down syndrome increases and hence tests for that will be suggested similarly this is combined with a blood test called the double marker test in this you check two uh, chemicals beta hcg free beta hcg and pregnancy associated plasma protein a commonly known as pap a so these two chemicals and the nt scan together form the combined first trimester screening the advantage is not only you get to know about down syndrome but also pap a is a marker for placental function so you get to know about how good the baby is likely to grow so that is also an important finding in this pregnancy and the scan you don't concentrate only on the nt you look at the head to toe you see two hands you see two legs you see other structures so it is also functioning now as a very very early anomaly scan so there are many advantages of doing this so if you plan antenatal care in a reasonable manner you can get lot of you know a sort of uh, multiple benefits out of a certain intervention done at a certain gestational age and screening for down syndrome is one such uh, point checkpoint in pregnancy where you can get multiple benefits out of the tests that you do for the same